All right, guys, let's steal some moments. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. a few minutes early uh, since we had five bands I thought you would enjoy a little welcoming music uh, we are the 
Friday afternoon jam session, otherwise known as the uh, Centerville High School Jazz Combo, and uh, that was a, a great tune by, by the wonderful Oliver Nelson uh, called, called Stolen Moments, and uh, from an album called The Blues and the Abstract Truth, which I highly recommend checking out. Um, we normally meet at, at Klein Elementary on Friday afternoons and pick some jazz tunes and, you know, uh, students suggest tunes and I throw some ones in. This one was suggested by our soprano saxophone tenor player, uh, C.G. Vallone, uh, and the last time he played that tune was an all-state jazz band up in Cleveland uh, a couple weeks ago. And, uh, and, you know, meeting other directors up there, they're like, oh, Centerville, it's a big program. How many, how many jazz bands do you guys have? Like, you know, one, two, like five. You know, and uh, you know, so it's a real honor to get to work with these uh, wonderful young musicians on, on Friday afternoons and have some fun and cultivate our improvisational skills. Uh, we're going to continue now with a tune that's near and dear to my heart. Um, it's uh, by Freddie Hubbard, great trumpet player. Um, or I'm sorry, Juan Teasel, um, called Perdido, named after a street in uh, New Orleans. And this one's kind of tricky because it's got some, some wicked changes, so uh, chord, chord changes to navigate through. So we're going to hear Connor Larimer on trombone on this one, uh, Isabel Burns, and C.G. Vallone on this one as we take you on a trip to New Orleans. And here is Perdido.
So in case you're keeping score, you music theorists out there, um, th that was six keys that those soloists had to navigate through over the course of 32 bars. So uh, how about one more time uh, for Connor, Isabel, and CJ on those solos. Um, this one is super chill. Um, if we're gonna do this tune right, the lights would be very low. It'd be much later in the evening. It'd be like a little coffee bar. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I love it. There'd be like a little coffee bar down here and some like, candles going. Okay, I know that's against school code, but uh, this is kind of a 60s chill kind of uh, coffee house jazz jazz vibe. And as we all know, most jazz musicians definitely love their, love their coffee. I know I do. So um, this is going to feature some jazz oboe. Um, with our friend uh, Carry On, who, um, and uh, we're also going to hear from uh, Luke and Carter are going to do some alto trading. Drew and Jack are going to do some uh, some saxophone trading, and Connor's going to do some uh, do some improv on this one. This is called Little Sunflower, and uh, there is some space up here if you want to come up. A little interpretive dancing, it's all good, and <laughs> and uh, we hope that you enjoy our our little trip to the '60s.
Well, we're on, we're uh, running right on schedule, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do one more for, or two more for you. Um, this, if you just came in late, this is a tune that uh, is near and dear to our heart. One of our favorite tunes. It's called Stolen Moments, and it's uh, we'd like to dedicate this one to our favorite spirit wear mom, Mrs. Carrie Burns, who has a great Etsy shop called Stolen Minutes. <laughs> so here's Stolen Moments uh, for Stolen Minutes.
do this all day and I know we I know many of us have so thank you parents for your support of jazz education and uh, we have one more quick one for you um, I could tell you more about this tune and more about this album than you'd ever want to hear but it's from an album that literally changed my life it's called tough baritones uh, released by two of my favorite musicians baritone saxophonist Gary Somalian and Ronnie Cuber and I was in a lesson um, with one of our ensemble members here about a month or so ago and the previous lesson, I said, see if you could figure out some of the solo, figure out a couple of the licks, and just see if you could plug them into your, into your solo. And a, a blues, as many of you know, is 12 bars. Um, I was hoping for maybe four or six, or maybe a chorus. He came back with 36 bars, and the whole solo transcribes. I, I, I just about fell out of my seat. I was just like, uh, uh, okay. So Drew, who, uh, who is getting credit for transcribing uh, this chart. Yes, absolutely. Drew Curtis, give it up. Uh, I'm in my 16th year in Centerville, my 20th plus year of teaching. I have never had that happen so quickly. So um, he is going to recreate some of that solo for you. And the tune, we're going to call it Darn Right Blues. That's not the actual name of the song, but we're just, we're going to call it for tonight. And um, it's from an album called Tough Baritones. And if you get the chance to check it out, you'll thank me later. Um, and we're also going to hear from Carter on this one and Jack playing some tenor and Emily Hodges and Drew is going to finish this up. And here is Darn Right Blues. And isn't it darn great to have a live concert?
right, if you could all just stick around for a brief changing of the guard. I do want to thank someone who's let their truly show that elk pride never dies. Sitting in on base, our good friend and center of all alumni. Give it up for Isaac Meyer back there hitting the base for us. All right, thank you very much. We are Jazz Ensemble Black. Before we play our set, I'd like to ask you all to give a round of applause, please, to our sound guys, Bobby and Pete. I'm telling you, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be a music concert, or at least a band concert here at Centerville, if we didn't have Bobby and Pete out in the sound, running the sound for us. And also, we've got our Miami Valley Cable Council here broadcasting live stream. All right, without further ado, Jazz Ensemble Black. Our first tune is a, a straight ahead blues, one of my favorites that we like to bring back every few years. This is called Pardon My Blues. This is gonna feature Benji on the alto, Eli on the tenor, Paul on the alto, and Will on the berry. Pardon My Blues.
Thank you. One more round of applause, please, for Benji, Eli, Paul, and Will. All right, next up, this is a song out of the famous Chili Pepper series. Uh, these two composers have written a whole bunch, probably at least a dozen, but at this point, different jazz tarts around Chili Peppers with that Latin feel. So this is called Chili Pepper 101. This is going to feature Benji again on the alto, Anna on the trumpet. Now let me tell you about Anna. Anna plays the clarinet, and then Anna plays the alto sax, and then I get my jazz ensemble list in the fall, and Anna plays the trumpet. And I've known Anna since she was in sixth grade. She's doing great. So Anna's going to play a solo for you. Cora on the tenor. Steve on trombone. Paul again on the alto. Nick on trombone. Eli on tenor. And Maddie on trombone. This is Chili Pepper 101. Again, keep your applause for Benji, Anna, Cora, Steve, Paul, Nick, Eli, and Maddie. So 
we do a lot of beginning improv with this group. Um, lots of people either are on secondary instruments or haven't had a whole lot of experience. So we try to keep it kind of basic and introduce different scales, different tones, different chords that'll work for them. And then we kind of adapt it. We can use these three notes and we can sound good. Or we can use these five notes or these seven notes. And then depending on their experience, they can add more or less as, as they're comfortable. So these guys are truly improvising. There's no written notes. There's no written solos. This is all happening in real time. So can I have one more round of applause for our soloists, please? All right, our last song is called Panic Button, although I really think it sounds more like either a game show or a really cheesy Miami morning news entertainment program. You tell me what you think. This is going to feature, again, Will, Steve, Hannah on tenor, Nick on trumpet, Anthony on Barry, and Maddie again on trombone. This is Panic Button, a.k.a. Good Morning Miami. One more round of applause, please, for Will, Steve, Hannah, Nick, Anthony, and Maddie. Thank you very much. Give us just a minute, and we'll switch out Jazz Black for Jazz Gold. Whoa, how'd you all get into my living room? 
uh, and we're back. Thank you for your patience. Um, we are Jazz Gold, and uh, we're going to open up with a song written by um, a gentleman who is synonymous with the Centerville Band Program, our good friend Wayne Markworth, and he wrote this, this tune as part of a collection of new jazz repertoire um, called the Jazz Vision Series. It's called Real Smooth, and it's dedicated to my barber. <laughs> Car. solos that you just heard were completely improvised and uh, developed with their chord scale theory and some uh, sample solos and all that, but uh, based on the pentatonic scale. And uh, how many of you folks were improvising for the first time on a concert on that one? All right, let's have a hand for our soloists.
or maybe the second time. All right, uh, this next tune uh, came to me by a friend of mine, Mr. Bryce Newton, who teaches in Kettering, and gr great jazz director uh, and a uh, great guy. And uh, he recommended this tune by Dean Sorensen. We've worked on this one for sight reading, but it's also a good vehicle for improvisation and, uh, and the key of B-flat blues for all of you music theorists out there. This is gonna feature uh, Tyler and Rowan on the trumpet and Owen and Drew. And the question it asks is, what came first? And the answer, I have no idea. Uh, well, this next tune is uh, something positive that came out of quarantine, something positive that came out of the last craziness that's been forever, and um, these last few, uh, last few months, at least the last few years. And uh, Wayne Markworth's uh, Jazz Vision series, when he was in the beginning of it, he said, hey, do you think we should have improv? And I said, sure. And he's like, hey, you want to write some improv sheets? And I was like, sure, what else am I doing except, you know, hosting Zoom calls. So, um, so Wayne asked me to jump in, and uh, I, I had the honor of writing this next tune called The Swingin' Cat, because if you've ever been to the Burns house, you know that the cats kind of run the house. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we, I wrote one tune for, for each of our cats, and this one happened to be called uh, The Swingin' Cat, and it's a modal jazz improv tune. So if you're familiar with Miles Davis and the tune Impressions and So What and those kind of modal tunes, um, that's what this is based on. And uh, you're going to hear, again, some improvised solos from various members of the ensembles. But um, before we go on, I just have to thank Bobby and, and Pete and my colleagues, uh, Mr. Gasway, Mr. Baramedi, 
um, Mr. Wojtek, and the amazing work that's happening in the middle schools and across the band program. It's just a real blessing to come up um, and uh, spend just a couple hours a week uh, working with these jazz students. And uh, you know, I, I told them I, I hope that I'm inspiring them, but they're certainly inspiring me because uh, this is this has been crazy. This has been tough, and just getting to come and do uh, and to spread the love of music has been a real joy. So thank you, parents, for fostering that love of music, and thank you, students. Um, here is the debut, the world premiere performance of The Swingin' Cat. A one, a two, a you know what to do. Yes, Interval Jazz Gold. How about a hand for our rhythm section, many of which are doing double duty Connor, coming right from the trombone to the bass, and, uh, and our illustrious rhythm section of Alex and Aaron. Give it up for our rhythm section. <laughs> all right, I'm fresh out of jokes, so if you all can just hang out for a minute and uh, wait for the illustrious Mr. Baramedi. The director's just keeping it taller as the bands go on, so he's next. All right, is that good? Sweet. Thank you. 
All right, how about a hand for our soloist, Drew Curtis over here on Barry Sax. We had Grayson here on guitar, Aiden on saxophone, and the brothers Larimer here on Trading Fours. All right, that was a fun tune called Sugar Buzz. I just wanted to get right into it and get started. This is the Jazz Ensemble. I'm Mr. Barametti. We're super excited to be here and to play for you tonight. We're going to do, uh, do a little Latin tune Dizzy Gillespie made famous. It's called Monteca, and uh, features a couple of solos in the middle. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Give it up for Grayson Zellick on guitar, Adam Huff on the tenor saxophone. And while you're clapping, we should clap as well for our tuba player back here, Ava Merriman, laying it down on the tuba. We don't have a bass, so give it up for our bass. We, we joke that she doesn't ever need to breathe. She just keeps on going. It doesn't matter. She's doing a great job. All right. We got one more for you. Uh, this last tune uh, is a, a fun little swing tune um, made famous by uh, Thelonious Monk. This is Well You Needn't, and uh, we're going to feature Nick Zumberg on trumpet, and we're going to feature uh, Adam Huff again on the tenor saxophone. This is Well You Needn't. Thank you. 
Nick Zumberg on the trumpet. Adam Huff on tenor saxophone. Give it up for Peyton Berger on drums over here. Jazz ensemble. Contrary to Mr. Burns' theory, we do not get taller as we go through. <laughs> so, um, so welcome everybody. Um, I just want to kind of introduce this group uh, before before we get started. Um, this is the Super Sax Ensemble. We get kind of a super cool name uh, for this unique group. Uh, you're going to see we're the, as through their uh, program that they get to play a bunch of different saxophones and live the saxophonist dream. So. We are going to get started here with a uh, chart entitled Royal Garden Blues. It's a tune written uh, 1919, I believe. Um, it was originally played by the, um, the original Dixie Land Band. Um, so this goes way back, and uh, we're going to go way back. So this is going to feature um, everybody in the saxophone section here on a little blues. So Royal Garden Blues.
Carter Cutler on alto, Emily Hodges, CJ Valone, Jack Rothstein, Isabel Burns on solos. Yeah. Um, while, while we're at, we, we pretty much uh, introduced most of the band. Um, we're going we're gonna to introduce everybody else in the band here. Um, we've got Grayson Zellick, who's playing bass for us here. You might have noticed that you saw Grayson uh, earlier in the evening, only he was playing guitar. So, um, so we got a lot of multi-talented uh, uh, students helping out and, and playing in some of the different bands, and we're really um, appreciative of that and, and really love that. Uh, we also have Amon Goyal on the drum set. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have Mr. Burns helping us out on piano here. You know Mr. Burns. <laughs> so, um, so just um, this, this, is, the, the, this is a really cool ensemble, and uh, I really have appreciated getting the chance to work with them. Uh, they have a really unique opportunity to play some different kind of music. Um, you know, whenever uh, we're looking at everything and we see all the bands and we see all the students who, you know, want to be a part of everything we're doing, we have to take into account, you know, the fact that maybe we have way more saxophones and we have a little less trumpets and, you know, and, and just varying numbers of interest and, uh, and kids involved. And so when we looked at it, the puzzle came together and it really made a lot of sense for them to be able to play um, this saxophone ensemble music. Um, this type of group... Uh, came out of really the, uh, there's a, there was a group, what was it, about 50 years ago or something, called, called Super Sax, and they basically tur turned, um, raise your hand if you know who Charlie Parker is. Yeah, Charlie Parker, we also call him Bird, Yard Bird. They basically took a lot of his solos, which are really difficult solos, and they just turned them into saxophone solis, and they just harmonized saxophone solis and played really difficult stuff. So... We basically took it as an opportunity to say, why don't we take that kind of ensemble and just try to do all that? So that's what we're here for. Um, and we've been really enjoying that. Um, so we're going uh, to continue along here. Um, and we're going to slow it down and play uh, a ballad by a saxophonist named Wayne Shorter. Um, and this particular arrangement is by another saxophonist that I really enjoy. Um, maybe some of you know he's the leader of the Yellow Jackets. The band has been around a long time. His name is Bob Mincer. So this is called Infant Eyes.
Carter Valone on the tenor sax. Um, before we play our last tune of the evening, um, I just want to reiterate and make sure to thank some people who are making us sound really great up here. Bobby and Pete Washburn over here uh, doing sound for us. Um, yeah. We really appreciate what they do. They've been making us sound good for decades, so they really know us. So um, I also, uh, just in the, in the interest of promoting um, you know, jazz in our area um, and live music, um, I'd also like to point out, um, some of you may have seen this, um, but a really world-renowned and, and Grammy nominee um, clarinet, jazz clarinetist, Anat Cohen, is going to be here um, in the area on Friday, March 11th. Um, and Mr. Burns, who directs the um, Sinclair Jazz Ensemble, um, has Anat Cohen as a guest artist, and that's really, really a special thing. So that's Friday, March 11th. Um, and it's at 7 o'clock. It's at Blair Hall at, um, it's in, in Sinclair. Another really cool thing about that is we get an opportunity to uh, work with Anat Cohen on the day before, that Thursday before. Um, so we're just really lucky to have such a, such a phenomenal, world-renowned artist to come in, work with our students, and then play a live concert with a really, really great band uh, directed by Mr. Burns. So Friday, March 11th, come check that out, um, 7 o'clock in Blair Hall. Uh, we are going to go ahead and play our last tune, um, and this is a samba entitled Sgud. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, it's spelled S apostrophe G U D E. Not really sure on the pronunciation. We've debated Sgud, Sgud, Sgud. Like I, I don't know which one it is. So it's been every sing, every version. Um, so we're going to play that, and it's gonna, it, this one's going to feature um, CJ on, on some soprano sax um, and some samba, the sounds of the samba on the drum set from Amman. There's a lot of great sounds in here. So this is Scood. Thank you. 
Super Sax Ensemble. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.